Hi everyone, please ignore my voice, I've got the cold at the minute, but I'm going to just show you these two designs. Today they're really quick, really easy and they're quite cool. So it's using these inks from Crystal Nails. So you get them in six different colours. Um, I've kind of used all of them on this one. So you can have a little look. But they're really fast. You can do them in salon time. But they're really effective. So the first thing I'm going to do is just my backgrounds. So I'm going to just chop off the ends of one of these just to make it a bit smaller. Just to change the shape up a little bit. So for my bases I'm going to use Halo Cashmere um, and Perfect Nails Lac Gel 02. That's just the white one. So all I'm going to do is just two coats of each colour. them in the lamp. So you don't need to spend ages doing your background, it's just really simple. The Perfect Nails White goes on really nice. A lot of whites I've used can go a bit gloopy. This one's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to pop them in the lamp. I'm just going to do my second layer. of my white. Now it's not really necessary to do your second layer of white. Um, one would be enough but I'm just going to do two. So the white will just make the inks pop out. So like on this nail you can see how they're really bright that's just going to make them stand out really well. So obviously on this nail um, we have like a sort of swoosh down the middle. So I'm going to put white on top of the Halo Cashmere. Just straight on top. Um, and you can do it in any design you want. I've just went for, I like to sort of do it like a backward S an S shape just so it sort of goes down the nail, gives it some flow to the nail. So again I'm just going to do that with my Perfect Nails White. So I've got my nail here, like I say you can do it in any pattern you like. Um, so I'm going to start in the middle because that's where I want the bulk of my product to be. There's no sort of set way to do it and it actually looks a bit nicer if it's a bit messy. So I have some thin bits, some thicker bits. Okay. And then I'm going to pop that one in my lap. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm just going to matte top cure this one. So I'm going to use my matte top coat, sorry, my matte ever crystal nails. I'm 
matte ever is like the best matte top coat ever. Gives a really nice finish. So the reason that I'm matte top coating is because the inks glide better. Um, you can't really use them on a shiny surface. So I'm just going to give my little swoosh another coat. So don't take too long for this bit. It doesn't need to be neat. Um, again, you could just do one coat if you wanted. I just like to make sure it's going to stand out quite well. Okay. So I'm going to pop that one in. So that's that one ready to go. This one, we need to matte top coat. Okay, so we're just going to matte top coat our whole design. Make sure you get all of it. Okay, and I'm just going to pop that one back in the lap. Okay, so we'll get started on this one. We're just going to be really messy, just put on the inks and see what happens. So, like I said, you get different colours. So, we've got blue, purple, orange, this one is red, and we've got a green and a yellow. So, Think about what colours you want to put together. Um, like you wouldn't want to put, so I wouldn't necessarily put like orange. I would just sort of keep my orange next to my yellow, um, my yellow next to my green, my green next to my blue. So think about your rainbow, things like that. Okay, so what we'll go with first. So I think we'll get our purple. So I'm going to open these just so they're ready to go. They're just air dry. So once you've put them on, you need to let them fully dry before you top coat them. We are going to top coat them so you seal it in. So all you do is get a little bit on your brush and just start dabbing it on. Okay, that's on purple. And I'm going to add some red. So when you're taking it out of the bottle, I sort of wipe it on the side so you're not it's not dripping everywhere. Just add some red. Then maybe some orange. So we're not needing to be neat or anything, so you overlap slightly. Okay, then I'm going to get some yellow. So think about your rainbow, think what colours go nice with each other. I'll get some green. That's the green. And then some blue. So you can use as many or as little colours as you like. There's no right or wrong. I'm going to go back to my reds. And then I'm going to put some orange in the bottom. Just because it's a bit brighter. Okay. So that's you've got your colours on. And that looks quite cool as it is. Um, but what we're going to do is we need a dehydrator so and a, a brush. So I use NSI Pure Plus and I use my 
um, Barbara's toothbrush. So all you're going to do is get a bit of dehydrator on your brush, not too much, and then you're going to dab into it and see how it starts to, to give you a sort of bubbly look. So you can keep going, you can add as much or as little as you like and you can blend it in. So I like to clean my brush in between um, a little bit because I don't like it to look too muddy. But you can keep going and keep going. So the more you put in, the more it will separate. So if you ever think you've taken off too much ink, what you can do is you can add more. So if for instance, if you wanted to go back in and add a bit more orange, you can do that. You can do that with any colour. So if you ever take off too much, you can always fix it. So you can keep playing and playing if you want. I quite like it like that. Just this wee bit, I want to blend out a wee bit more. Okay, so all I'm going to do is matte hot coat that now. Now you need to make sure it's fully dried. Um, so obviously if I was doing a client and I was doing a couple on each hand, by the time you finished one hand and done the other one, the first one's going to be dry. So you just make sure it's all dried before we're going to top coat. So I'm going to, again going to use my matte ever because I want this nail to be matte. So with your top coat you want to have quite a good amount on your brush and you just want to glide it over. So you don't want your brush dragging the ink. It won't move anyway um, as long as it's fully dry. But just glide it over and I'm just going to pop that in the lamp. super easy and really effective and um, obviously you could leave it as it is or you can put a wee design over like I have here. So back to this nail. So that's all matte top coated now. So we're going to do the same sort of thing but we're just going to put our inks over this bit to get the effect that we want. So again, you can choose whatever colours you want. You can do it as many or as little as you like. And all we're going to do is put it where the white is. doesn't matter if you get right to the edge. doesn't matter if you go over a wee bit. Because we're going to um, cover the edges anyway. Okay, so I'm going to get a wee bit of red. You could just choose one colour, you could choose two colours. There's no right or wrong. Depends how many colours you have. Okay, so I'm going to add a wee bit of blue. And I'm just going to take the blue up to there. Okay. So Looks quite cool like that. I'm maybe going to add another wee bit of red in here. Okay, and then again, you're going to get your dehydrator. Um, I'm using NSI Pure Plus, and you're just going to dab it in so it starts to blend. And then if you've missed any wee bits, you can sort of move it over. Okay, it's, it shouldn't be neat. It shouldn't think about it too much. What colours you want where. Um, it just should be quite random. So see how this is a big patch here. So if I just dab a wee bit in the middle, see how it pulls it. And it makes really nice sort of raindrops. See that? It's quite cool, isn't it? 
was like sort of a bit like animal skin or something. So you can do it as much or as little as you want. And again, if you thought you'd taken too much out, you can add some more back in. You could add a different colour, like we could add a wee bit of green here on top of what you've already made. So yeah, that makes quite a cool wee design. Then once it's dry, go back in. It's really easy and really cool. So I'm going to close up my inks because I am a terrible spiller. Um, and then I'll no doubt go flying over my desk. And what I'm doing, I'm allowing that to dry so it doesn't take long at all, especially not on a client because the heat is a body heat. So I want this nail to be shiny. I don't want this one to be matte, although it would look really cool matte, but we're just going to show you it shiny just to get the difference. So I'm going to use my Kissel Nails Cool Top. Okay, again, you want to float it over. Okay, it's not running all over the nail. Anything like that. I'm going to pop that in and what we'll do is we'll finish off this wee guy. So that would be really cool just on its own. Um, imagine that for like holidays, things like that. But we're going to put a wee design on it because it makes it look a bit more finished. So I am going to use my Royal Gel R6. It's a tack free gel um, so obviously this is a finished nail it's been top coated you could leave it like that the bonus about royal gels is you can do design work over and you cure it in the lamp and then you don't need to top coat again it comes out of the lamp tack free so you've got your finished nail um, so on this we design all I've done was some lines. So I've outlined it and then just some, done some random lines. Um, so on this one, I think what we'll do is maybe some swirls, just to make it a wee bit different. So again, I'm just using my Barber 2 brush. That's what I use for all my design work. So I think we will go round the nail because it, it does make it look really nice. Um, to sort of finish these nail off. So doing this on camera is always difficult. So it's a lovely consistency to work with. Um, Royal Gel, it doesn't run everywhere. You get plenty of time to work with it. you were worried about it running, you could do a part and then cure. So you could use um, a striping brush to do your sides if you wanted. So what I like about this as well is the Royal Gel is going to cure shiny and you've got your matte nail underneath so it gives a nice contrast it's so hard to do this on camera
can add me a bit of that. So because you've got a finished nail, if you do make a wee error, you can just get a wee pad with some cleanse and wipe off. So we're just going to do, I'm just going to do a few wee swirls in the corners. If you can see. So you can do any design you want. Obviously, these would most likely be accent nails. They wouldn't take you very long. It's not going to take you a long time to do them. But you could definitely do these in salon speed. any wee design you want so I'm just going to put something at the other side or in fact I'm going to do a wee, wee swirl here Obviously I'm just making this up as I go along, but you could cover as much of the nail as you want or little or none. Keep going, but you get the idea. I'm just going to fix this a wee bit. Right, so I'm just going to put that in the lap, and then we'll get this one back out. So that is it, shiny. Looks really nice already. So obviously we use the royal yeah, sorry, we use the royal gel for this. You also get a royal cream. Um loads of different colours. I love the metallic ones and they're a bit thicker. So they're thicker than the royal gel. Um you'll be able to see in a minute. So you can make your designs as really raised with this. You don't need to. You can see how it's much thicker consistency. So this is the gold. Um, get quite a lot of colours now. I love the metallics. I love the rose gold. I love the silver. Again, tack free when it comes out of the lamp. So this would be your finished nail. You can add any design you want. With this, cure it and the client's good to go. 
So all we're going to do is, sorry, outline, but you don't want to make your line straight. We want to sort of make it look like, it's like the opening of a rock or something. Like the geode designs. So you want to get a good bit on your, your brush. And then what you can start to do is start to sort of lay it. Um, lay it down. So sort of wiggle your brush so it's not too neat. So I want to come out there and then go back in. So this is what I mean, you don't need to worry about missing any bits, like leaving white. It looks quite nice with the white anyway because um, you can cover it up. Like if there's a bit you really don't like, you can just cover it up. So you can cure this layer and then you could keep going. Like you could keep building it up to make it as raised as you like. So I'm going to give that a wee cure. While that's in, we can have a wee look at this one. So like I said, the only difference with this is the pattern. So you could do whatever pattern you wanted. Swirls, lines, anything. Whatever you feel comfy putting on top. You can see this one is in the lap just now. Similar to what we've done here. You could use different colours. You don't need to use like a nude, you could use any colour in the background. You could use your white still. So that's it out the lamp. Like I say, with this stuff, you could keep building. So if you get a wee tail on your brush, use that to get your, your finer lines. And then you can build up on top of what you've got. You can build it as high as you want. You can keep going and going. And then when it comes out the lamp, after its final cure, your client's good to go. I'm going to put a wee bit more on here. So you sort of lay it on top. You're not painting it down. You sort of lay it. It's really nice to work with. And it gives a beautiful effect. So I'm just going to pop that in my lap. For its final cure, should that be 60 seconds? So like I say, if you've only got couple of colours. You can just use a couple of colours. Um, my favourites are definitely the purple. I like the really like the red and the orange too. I like all of them actually. Just buy them all. So all my products I obviously buy from the nail team. They stock everything that I've used today including the brushes and stuff. It's all really good quality products. So that is the finished nail there. So you can tell the difference from the shiny and the matte, but they're still both beautiful. It's so easy, quick, and it's such a nice result. So have a go. Thanks guys. Bye.